What's up vlog? Today we have another no fat video. I'm going to be giving you not too much of a detailed how to, but I'm going to tell you like the how to, the intrin intrinsic how to sustain from fapping. Like how I go about not fapping when I'm having urges. <laughs> Some of you may know, uh, I think that was last year, I went five months, no fap, hard mode. Hard mode means no fap, no sex, no orgasms. All of, I was only having wet dreams, that's it. So I had probably three, four, maybe five wet dreams. But other than that, I went hard mode, no fap, for about five months. Now, I made so many videos <laughs> during that whole process. If you want to, you know what I'm saying, get the whole fucking documentation about how I went five months you're gonna have to go back into the crates and watch some of my old videos I, I had downloads for people to download like I really created a process that I went through in order to sustain from masturbation so this video is basically gonna be talking about how I've recently just made it to 15 days because the main difference that this is going to be about the um you know my previous videos is i'm going to be telling you how i was able to like just start it like how to start it and really just get over that man just get over myself and giving in when i'm saying that i'm not gonna give in okay so all right let's slow down and listen listen because this should be the last video that you need hopefully this could be the last video that you would need to um watch or listen to so that you could fucking get on your on your shit but anyway in a nutshell you need you need to be all right it's like a mixture of these two things you need to be fed up with the results that you are getting in life you need to be seriously fed up with the results that you are getting in life you need to want to make a change you need to leave yourself no option like you need to feel like fuck this shit like this shit's stupid like you gotta get emotional it's gotta come from the inside right so what helped me was inspiration i watched the video by this dude um stefan clink scales i'm part of his patreon he made a video of how he um stopped watching porn and what he was saying it was basically like dude i was fucking tired of not getting results he's like i can't have that like if you work out he's like i can't have low testosterone in the gym i can't have it because it's holding me back he was just saying, like, it wasn't worth it. That's simply it. Like, the shit, if, like I'm saying, you got to want to change your life, bro. It's not fucking about watching videos and all this stupid shit. That's why I don't be liking talking about this stuff no more. Like, people do this shit for whatever fucking reason. Like, look, if you if something is going to inspire, inspire you, then okay. But you can't. You can't keep getting inspired fucking every day. You got to make a decision. It can't be like some, some fake shit to you. It can't. Uh, it's hard to explain. It's hard to explain. But really enough is enough got to be enough. Enough got to be enough. You got to really like want to make fucking changes in life. You got to have like tunnel vision. This is how I get through urges. I had an urge last night. Two o'clock in the morning. I couldn't sleep and shit. And this girl I used to talk to a little bit or whatever, she fucking posting shit on Instagram, 2.30 in the morning, thick as hell and shit. Talking about some come come just do this motherfucker. Like a caption and shit. Thick as fuck. I'm thinking about hopping in the DMs and shit. Like, and then she posts another picture like a few seconds late, 2.30 in the morning. Like, fuck, why don't your ass go to sleep? Trying to thirst trap motherfuckers and shit. 
I'm I'm like, man, nah. Because you know why? You know why? You know why I didn't fap? You know why I didn't hop in her DMs? Because I'm like, dude, I have so much shit that I need to be focused on. And I know, because I told myself when I used to fap, right after I got done fapping, I'm like, like right after you lose all that energy, like right after you come, you feel bad and you feel like, damn, it wasn't worth it. I fucked up again. It wasn't worth it. It wasn't even worth it. So I, I used to tell myself, like, dude, once you start the streak, like once you can sustain for a few days, you got to just remember every time you did it, you told yourself it wasn't even really worth it. Like, yeah, I had this urge, but it wasn't worth it. Now I got to start over. You got to get tired of telling yourself some stupid shit like that. So, shit, like I said, be inspired. And if you don't want to really change your life, if it's not hurting you, if, if your life situation ain't hurting you, if you okay with the person that you are now, then shit, it's going to be hard because you okay with it. You satisfied. You content in that shit. You content in it. So until you like, like, man, I, I, I wish I had the words, but you really got to be like, no, like, fuck that. You got to feel it. You got to feel that because this shit come from inside of you. It come from inside of you. Like if somebody kidnapped your mama or some shit, if you fap again, I'm going to slit her throat and fucking <laughs> send you her head in the mailbox or some shit. And you really believe they was going to do it. You're going to be like, fuck that. Like, no, that's not going to happen. I'm not going to, you know what I'm saying, be that fucked up of a person. Can't fucking control myself. Like, I, don't, I mean, I had to go to some type of extremes because you got to get it. You got to under-fucking stand this shit. I don't want you to keep watching these damn videos. Like, oh, my God. Why would you want to keep watching a video about this shit? Like, you, this is just something that you just got to do in your life and get on with it. This ain't no shit to keep fucking studying. Unless you go write a book or some shit or counsel people. But if you watch videos and you part of no fap community... Because you need fucking support system. Like, bro, ain't nobody going to be there to hold your hands for you to stop beating your fucking dick. So you got to have a bigger fucking goal in life. You, your, your life, you need, to, you need to set bigger goals. You got to see yourself as more as just this person who masturbate. Because that shit is so minute. And I told y'all when I relapsed, I'm like, D you got to work on everything individually. So if the shit that you struggle on is just fucking masturbating... You got a long way to go because once you start masturbating, life's still going to be hard. You still got to overcome other shit. A whole lot of other shit. And the shit that you probably don't even know about yourself right now that you're going to discover that you need to work on. All right? So, man, don't. Oh, my. I'm sorry. Like, look. All right. I'm just kind of emotional, passionate about this shit. You know what I'm saying? But I get it. Don't, I, every, <laughs> don't think that I don't get it. I get it. You know what I'm saying? But, man, I do. I understand where you at right now. I get it. I've been there, obviously. Obviously, I have. So, But that's just the truth, too. Like, it's, this is something. It's big to you now, but really, it's something so small, and only you can get yourself out of it. So... My advice is to if you if you if you don't see your life being more than what it is, then you need to you got to work on that. All right? It can't just be I wish. I hope my my goal is to not masturbate. Why do you not want to fucking masturbate? Why it got to be something it got to be you got to make it very very important, imperative. All right? You got to have a a big reason but not even got to be big it's got to be something important to you because it got to literally be not worth it to do it to you all right so dream big man dream big write it down and have a goal have tunnel vision and then once you got that tunnel vision you're gonna see how you need to be focusing your energy because your energy is important your energy man that, that, that's pretty much what you are even the way you spend your time that that's that's your existence that's the power that god gave you to manifest the life that you want so shit what's what's like what do you need to be spending that on fucking masturbating or in the gym masturbating or studying masturbating or figuring out what the fuck you want to do with your life like you gotta have other goals to offset your your the loser aspect of your life who's just going to fucking masturbate or be a glutton or fucking whatever bad habit that you have you have to have bigger goals so you can be focused on those with tunnel vision 
and that other shit is just not going to be worth the time, energy, or the, the, the fucking detrimental cycle that it's going to bring you down. Because it's going to bring you farther away from the person that you want to be. With that being said, I hope I inspired you. I don't care. I don't give a fuck if I piss y'all off. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to piss y'all off sometimes. Shit. I don't give a fuck. I can't give a fuck. All right? But I don't think that I don't care about y'all. I want to help y'all. I do what I want to help motherfuckers out. But... I'm not the fucking gentle motherfucker and shit like that. I know a lot of people don't like even like cursing and stuff, but shit, I am who I am. You know what I'm saying? But get over this shit, y'all. Get over this fucking shit. I like helping people because, you know what I'm saying, I've been through this shit. I know I kind of, you know what I'm saying, understand what you got to do to get over it. But shit, I don't want to keep talking about masturbation. Who the fuck want to keep talking about that? <laughs> <laughs> like Jesus Christ. Alright dog. Good night, man. It's, it's what's I don't know what time it is. Good night. <laughs>